Welcome to the second part of our video series about NetApp solutions for SAP HANA. My name is Bernd Hert and I'd like to show you how to restore and recover an SAP HANA database. This slide shows an overview of our test scenario. So we have our SAP HANA database P01 at our production site. We also have an off-site backup site for the log backups and for additional backups of the data and the binaries. We are using our Snap Creator and also the SAP HANA Studio. Restoring and recovering an SAP HANA database requires five steps. First, we have to check the prerequisites. Are the binaries there? Is the log available? Is the log backup there? Uh, which HANA backup or snapshot should I use for restoration? After that, I need to stop the HANA database if it's still running, go to the server and you mount the data volume, and then use Snap Creator to restore the snapshot. After that, I have to remount the data volume and use HANA Studio to recover the SAP HANA database. Now let's see how that works. With HANA Studio, we should open the backup console, if HANA is still available, and see which backup we want to choose. So let's look at this one. This is a daily backup. And let's note the external backup ID, which is stored in the comment file. In Snap Creator, we can look at the backups and see that our backup is available at the primary site. So we don't have to use the offsite. Now we could stop the SAP system. In order to go to the server and verify that HANA is stopped completely and then we can U mount the data file. Back into Snap Trader, we can now select the right profile, go to Actions, and start the wizard to restore the data volumes for this SAP data database. Let's remember the backup ID we are looking for. The wizard first asks us whether we use the primary or secondary. We have verified that it's on the primary. We select our controller or SVM, the policy type, and then the wizard shows us all the available backups or snapshots for this policy. So verify again, that's the right ID. We will do a volume restoration, which is the fastest method. And at the end, the wizard offered to add another volume if required. That's not the case here. So we can finish the wizard and start the snap restore on that volume. The operation has finished successfully. We go back to the server. Let's mount the database file again. After that, we can go back to the SAP HANA Studio and now we have to start the recovery of the system. So the recovery wizard will be started. We have the option to recover the database to its most recent state. So that depends a bit on our prerequisites. If the log backup is not there or we want to go to a specific point in time or don't do a, recover, a forward recovery at all. We can use a single snapshot. We have to point to the log backup volume where the catalog is stored. And then the SAP system shows all the available backups and highlights in green 
the snapshot backup that has been found based on our restoration. Also here we can double check the backup ID. Select that snapshot, point to the uh, log backup, share, and in the final screen we can choose whether we want to initialize the log area, so in case the log volume might be destroyed, that's an option you have to choose, and start finally the recovery process. That will take a while until HANA uh, starts the system and do a recovery, so I'm scrolling forward and in the final step the SAP HANA database is started and we can check that also with the studio by once again opening the administration. I hope this little demonstration has shown how easy it is to restore and recover an SAP HANA database. I'd like to point you to our blog series about HANA and uh, the different videos, so stay tuned. On the blog site you can also see links to additional information and technical reports regarding SAP HANA, best practices and Snap Creator. Thanks a lot.